Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a nozzle change. I've had this machine for about six months now and done over a thousand print hours on this thing. So it's about time that I change this nozzle and we're going to be doing this together today. So the first thing you need to do is turn off the machine and unplug it. Make sure you've done this first. And then you can take off the magnetic faceplate and unplug it. Now that you've done that, you can put the faceplate to the side. Okay, the next thing we gotta do is take out these two screws. These ones right here. One, two. This one. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. So we're going left. Once you've got both the screws out, you should be able to pull the nozzle downwards. It should slide out. And now you gotta take the wires off of the extruder. It's this one, right here, and this one. Take both of these out. Alright. I took them both out and I realized that they're stuck under this thing. There's a hook here, you gotta push it to the side and pull it out. Once you've got your nozzle out, it should look like this. As you can see, the older nozzle seems a little worn down and rusted. It's got a piece of yellow filament stuck on it too. Okay, moving on. Now we gotta take the fan off. There's two screws here. You gotta take one off and then the other. Okay, there we go. And then it should come off just like that. Oh, sticker. And then this piece, we need to take this off with some needle nose pliers. Just be careful not to bend it too out of shape. I'm gonna time lapse this really quick. Pull it off. There we go. All right. Now, this is the ceramic plate. Do not break this part. Whatever you do, do not break it. Keep it intact. This is what the machine uses to heat up the nozzle. There's some wires attached to it. Be gentle, pull it out, and then take the wires and gently pull upwards and out. Okay, now this part here is on the side of the nozzle. That's the thermometer. It might be stuck in there real good, so you just gotta fiddle around with it and be patient. Okay, now you need to grab your thermal paste if you have any. Okay, now you're gonna take your thermal paste and apply it to the new nozzle where the ceramic plate is gonna go. If you're not sure which side it's supposed to go on, look for the two bumps on the top and the bottom of the nozzle. You're not going to need too much paste, so just a little bit should do. Now take your ceramic plate and place it back on top. Make sure the wires line up with the grooves. Okay, let me just make sure this is stuck on here. That looks good. It should look like that. Now the next thing you need to do is stick the thermometer back into the hole. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, extra paste that kind of got squeezed out here on the side, apply that to the tip of the thermometer, and stick it right back in here. Okay, now that we've got all the wires tucked away, we're going to put the fan back on. So the wires should all be facing upwards and on the right side of the nozzle. So that when we stick this thing back onto the extruder, everything lines up perfectly. Alright, we're going to put the fan back on here. Put the screw in here. Take your Allen wrench. Righty tighty. Once your fan is back onto your nozzle, stick it back into the extruder. Line up with the holes, put the screws in, and you're already halfway there. Remember to stick your wires back under this hook before you plug everything back in. Now, once you're done with those wires, the last thing you need to put back on is the faceplate, and you're all done. And that's about it. Just plug in your faceplate and stick it back on. Oh, and uh, don't forget your silicon sock. Put that back on too. Now you're done. <laughs> If at any point of the video you found any instructions confusing, feel free to watch the video as many times as you need. I'll see you guys in the next one.